Hi everyone, I'm Kyle Lyon, pre-sales engineer here at Solutions PT. And in this episode of Tech Bytes, we're going to be discussing the two main ways of getting remote access to your InTouch applications. It's a subject we've been getting a lot of requests for in the pre-sales team as working life has been changed obviously so much over the course of the pandemic. And it looks to be here to stay as, as work culture begins adopting remote working more and more. So whether you are a systems integrator, wanting to understand which options best for your customers or your plant manager looking to give visibility of operations outside of the control network. I hope you walk away from this episode knowing more about which option fits best for your circumstances. So beginning with the first option, we've got InTouch Access Anywhere. So what this is, is it's an optional server component that's included within the base InTouch installation and it enables you to remotely view a running InTouch application from a desktop or a mobile device through any HTML5 compatible browser. You view and control the application through a remote desktop session that's rendered in a secure web browser without requiring a separate client application. So what we've got here on the screen is a simple breakdown of the components and how they fit into an architecture. So starting on the right in the control network, you've got your RDS server, which will be running your InTouch Access Anywhere and hosting your actual InTouch application that we're going to be looking at. In the DMZ, you have the secure gateway, which permits or denies access to the InTouch application according to the credentials that a user provides when logging in. So these can be OT credentials, which are permitted access to the application normally, or you can use another optional component of Access Anywhere, which is the authentication server, which will check the user login against your domain as well. So this is useful if you've got corporate users in the business network who want to access. Now, as I mentioned, Access Anywhere is included free with InTouch. So all you require is sufficient InTouch client licenses for the number of users who want to connect. But since this is an RDS environment, we also need sufficient Microsoft RDS CALs for the number of connections you want as well, because it's just rendering a RDS session in a web browser. Next up, we have the InTouch web client. So this is InTouch's web platform that was introduced in 2017 update one. And what this does is leverages the native web rendering capabilities of the industrial graphics suite, which is formerly known as Orchestra Graphics, if you're more familiar with that phrase, to deliver a web view of your InTouch applications. So you may have seen this back in the 2017 release and maybe passed over it at the time since it was read only and again at the time, more designed for the casual user or to be used as, for example, a KPI dashboard on a large screen somewhere in, in view of staff to track important metrics. However, since 2020, the web client has been expanded to include read write functionality and a host of specialized web widgets and web compatible trends and alarm graphics have also been added. One view session of InTouch web is included with every InTouch license. So you can try this out free of charge with your currently running applications if you like. Very minimal configuration is required to actually use the web client. Pretty much you just have to set up which page or which symbol is your home symbol that will load up when a user accesses the web client. But it does only work with industrial graphics. If you're in the development environment, so that's in touch window maker, you can fast switch to the web view by clicking the web client button in the top right. So hopefully you now understand the two main options for uh, remote, remotely accessing InTouch at a base level. So let's discuss where you would use each. So for InTouch Access Anywhere, it's better suited for existing applications uh, that are coming and being migrated from older versions of InTouch that can't have any changes or modernization made, so they're still using legacy graphics. It does require an RDS server environment, so you've, if you've already got that in place, you're well on your way to having an InTouch Access Anywhere solution. And naturally, performance will be in line with typical RDS demands. So if you want to increase the number of client sessions, you're going to have to beef up that server. For the web client, it's purpose built for industrial graphics. Now, just as a note here, you don't have to only have industrial graphics in your InTouch application to be able to use this. It's just the graphics that you want to show in the web client need to be industrial graphics. Generally, it's easier to scale out because you're not dealing with increasing an RDS server environment. All the web server components are contained within InTouch. 
and it's automatically included with your InTouch installation with no extra components to install. So hopefully you now understand the two main options for remotely accessing your InTouch applications and which cases generally each option suits best. If you'd like to get in touch with us for help architecting your remote access solution, or you want to discuss which option would be best for your plant, please do feel free to get in touch with us in the links below.